The teacher, it's important how they teach because there's so many different types of students in a classroom that if they don't really know how to, you know, do a standard way of teaching that everybody could understand it, then it does affect a lot of people. It all comes down to a teacher's teaching style. I prefer the teacher um, teaching the lesson as opposed to me reading it from the book because I can't sit still for a very long time. Some teachers will just put a, a PowerPoint and just say, all right, this is this. We're going to talk about blah, blah, blah. Rather than, you know, opening up the book saying, all right, guys, today we're going to study about this. Anybody have any ideas what it does? All right, you know, interact more with the kids. Like, if they actually, you know, if they have fun with it, then the kids will have fun with it also. You have to, like, work together to really get the progress you need. Because if you just, they teach and you just don't understand and retain, then you're not going to learn anything. Well, my teachers, I was very respectful, you know. I followed their basic rules. I mean, some teachers that I connected more with others, of course, but I never, like, if I ever had a problem with the teacher, I would never let that, like, ruin our relationship. Like, some teachers, I'm not going to lie, I, I didn't like, but some teachers I did like, and if I do like them, like, they're really nice, I, I have a connection with them. I do gain their respect, I think. I don't know. Maybe they just like, oh, this kid, and then behind doors, they're like, ah, oh, this kid. Most of my teachers, I know them, they're cool and whatever, but with very few I have a bond that I would actually say, yeah, you know, they've given me life advice and they're helping me in some way, aside from just teaching me stuff. Yeah, I definitely do think if a person's shy, it's hard to get the uh, attention of a teacher. I'm one of those shy students, so I shouldn't know about that. It definitely is harder for us shy people. Not really, because teachers tend to pick on the shy kids, so. I guess they want them to open up. That's a tough one because I consider myself uh, shy, or at least I used to be shy. Not as much anymore. And uh, I had a great relationship with all my teachers. So I, I'd, I'd say it's not that hard. So it, it is hard, especially in a classroom, when they, you know, they ask you to participate. Unless you're really comfortable with the people around you or with your teacher, you won't be able to you know, participate like they want you to. When you don't know anybody, it makes your whole experience a little bit more difficult and depressing because you you feel like you're alone. You feel like you don't know what to do, and you know you don't have anyone to comfort you. You don't have anybody to like you know go to, talk to, hang out with, and it just gets a little bit more difficult for you in your classes. I don't I don't consider myself shy, but I feel like I'm shy sometimes, and it's really just awkward to ask for help. Thankfully, I'm not a shy person. Um, I did have my moments where I didn't like to speak, but. Get to know your teachers. Don't judge them off the bat. Don't judge them off what you've heard. Go ahead and actually get to the class. Go ahead, stay in class. You don't want to be that kid that's saying, um, that's just making random noises in the back of the classroom, disrupting the class. Mm -hmm. You actually want to be a teacher, be like, oh, this kid is actually nice. It's a f breeze of fresh air. There should be no reason why you should be afraid of a teacher or be intimidated by a teacher because they're just here to help. Be the person that gets to go ahead and meet this teacher for the only reason that that's the only way that you're actually going to see whether or not you're good at a subject. Hear us out. Like if we have an excuse or anything, you know, just listen to us. Be up to date with today's generation. Don't be stuck in Stone Age or in your generation, I guess. Maybe uh, be a little bit more uh, lenient. Now, if you were a teacher, what subject would you teach? Um, science. I teach drama slash public speaking. I would definitely teach math. Definitely something musical. That's like one of my big things I love to do. I would teach history because I enjoy history. I would definitely be a, a fun teacher. I mean, I would have to obey the rules and everything. Well, I would try to channel my enthusiasm through my teaching. I wouldn't be super strict. I won't be easygoing, like a pushover. Probably be in the middle. I'll be one of those funny guys, you know, that will come dressed up in costumes. What one is like, you know, certain events in history that we'll be teaching today in that class. I would definitely want a close relationship with my students because I think that that's really important. I wouldn't be a passive teacher because just, that's just not my personality, but not super strict. I would be that easy teacher to actually show how I did the work on the board. I would be the type of teacher that I'll interact with you guys. I'll interact with anyone. I'll help when you need help but I'm not going to chase you. 
it's not it's not my duty it wouldn't be my duty as a teacher to go ahead and chase you down for something that you need so now let's say they have a high school reunion in 10 years would you come back and see everybody oh yeah of course i would i want to see where my friends are at like 10 years later of course i just want to see how old they've gotten <laughs> i would definitely come back just to see how the people who shun me down were hopefully I'll keep a lot of my friends around, but if I don't, you know, that's an opportunity to see them. I would love to see how everybody has evolved since high school, what they've done with their lives since then. I mean, I guess it would be like the basic questions that everybody will be asking, you know, how are you doing? Did you get married? Did they turn out how I thought they would? Did they defy the odds and just become something really awesome? I mean, there's really not too much to say. I mean, it would be like, if how you been, what's been going on? And uh, is your life treating you well? My God, you've gotten fat. Now, God willing, I'm going to fulfill my dream of being a game designer. Doing what I love and traveling and just being independent. I'll probably be in a medical office, taking care of patients, living in a nice house with a beautiful family. Successful. You know, making enough money to support myself. I definitely want to be a person that um, you don't have to look at like what happened to him or he was this in high school or he was that in high school. I, wanna, I want people to look at me and be like, I'm proud of him that he made it. I see myself married. I see myself um, probably giving my parents everything that they deserve. I just hope I am not homeless. <laughs> I have a home and a job. I hope just, you know, it's, it's be somewhere living like in a nice residential area. I actually would be working in my career being a dermatologist. Hopefully in a relationship. Probably met someone. I don't know. I really don't know. I've been living under my parents' wing for 18 years, so I'm not, I don't really know who I am yet. I haven't really been outside. I haven't really ventured outside and figured myself out yet. <laughs> but I know that when I get to college, it's gonna be different because I'm not gonna be around them that often. I'm not. Gonna, I'm going to be around other people who expect me to be myself, who expect yeah. me to do what I want to do. So that's going to be really fun, and I'm looking forward to it, actually. I'm still trying to find myself. Like, yeah, I might dress up like a gothic girl, I might look like it, I might act like it, but in all honesty, I don't know if I am gothic, because I can be many things. But I'm still looking for, for myself, I still want to know who I am. As a person, I do know who I am. That is uh, a person who does like to entertain. I'm just that one random person. I don't know what group I belong to. I know we have a group of friends, but I don't classify me as anything because I don't know what I am. Like, you really got to be true to yourself. Honesty is key, especially when you're talking about yourself. You can't do something other people want you to do. You gotta do something you wanna do. Um, don't ever stress on it. Don't overthink about you figuring out who you are. It'll come. There will be a moment in your life where you figure out who exactly who you are. You're so young. You're too young to know who you are at this point of your life. If you wanna do something, do it. Don't care about what everyone else says. If they're negative thoughts, positive, just do it. Do what you wish, not what anybody else wants from you. You're the only one that stays with yourself. Uh, throughout your entire life, not them. They're not living your life. You're living your own life. Don't, don't listen to what anybody else has to say about you. You are who you are. Because people will always want you to be something different only according to what they want you to be that benefits them. You always have to be who you want to be for yourself to benefit who you are as a person. Enjoy who you are now. Um, don't be somebody you're not and you'll find your path. It's a roller coaster, literally. You're going up and down from good moments to bad moments to freakishly weird moments in between. But aside from it's a good time, it's a good experience. You know, you're having fun, you're meeting new people, which is a great thing. I think high school is an opportunity for you to reveal, to see who you are as a person. You go through a series of emotions in four years that you'll look back at and somehow you'll end up even missing the worst day of school. How about? Because they're all memories. It's, it's a memory that you can see one day as such a horrible day 
and uh, two, three, four years later, you come up and you'll be like, do you remember when so-and-so cried or when I cried or something? And it'll be that you'll be like, wow, I was so dumb for crying. I was so dumb for overthinking it. It makes you a better person to go to high school, you know, of the experience. Every, every little experience that you can get in high school um, will definitely benefit you in, um, in the future. If you have your conscience clear and you're fine with yourself and you're breathing and you're, you're perfectly okay with whatever you did, it doesn't matter.